What's up everyone? Well, we're here at Bison Overland Campers in Oklahoma and two years ago I bought my Jeep Gladiator setting out to build the lightest, strongest, most capable truck camper um, 4x4 vehicle that I could rock crawl and be able to go to any camp spot that I wanted to without worry of if my vehicle will get there, if it'll fit or if it'll get stuck. But not just for fun on the weekends, this is my full-time home. It's built out of composite, just like this Tacoma camper. I'll show you this Tacoma camper a little bit more in this video and talk about it. But first, let's show you the composite walls that my camper's built out of and how we've gotten it super light and overall construction of my custom truck camper. So let's check it out in today's video. <laughs> Yeah, this is the composite that it's built out of three inches thick. Big mama jamma. So yeah, this is so thick. Gonna be so well insulated, so strong, and pretty light. Feel that. <laughs> I was expecting a little bit heavier than. Wow. Oh yeah, that's real light. That's pretty light, huh? Wow. Yeah, like. If I wasn't clumsy, I could do one finger, but I'm yeah. clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Good reaction. Yeah. yeah, that was her first time holding the composite the camper's built out of. I mean, it's a small oh, piece, of right. course, but yeah. Don't show this. Oh, no? Crap. Show the good stuff. Right? Show the good. Yeah. Oh, this is, well, the two inch. No, the oh. two inch is the regular. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is, yeah, so this is what yours is made out of. Yeah. All the production stuff's gonna be the, uh, the two inch, inch. Half, so. oh it's inch and a half yeah. yeah yeah and i mean that gives you more space inside it's probably plenty for most people but you know drew and cody know I'm, i plan to mob this thing <laughs> slam it through some stuff I'm, I'm almost scared at how strong it is because the dodge mahal was out of two inch and it did not have aluminum extrusion corners and I beat that thing up good. So like, I don't know. I want to put this thing through some hell, to be honest. Don't tell me. Save me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just overwhelmed at how strong this thing looks, for sure. And yeah, you guys, like, let's be honest. It does look like small and it is very tight and confined, but also, the interior space is gonna be built wide open. There isn't gonna be any overhead, you know, storage or anything like that. So just be a U-shaped dinette all opened up. But yeah, we're gonna put a air mattress in here until then. Drew's riveting in the liner for the vinyl for the pop top. Even stuff that's on here. Oh, dude, I'm the same way though. Yeah. When I was going full time in the Dodge, I left and went, I don't know, I'm just freaking out. Like maybe a wheel will fly off right. or something. And then six months later in the Arctic, a wheel flew off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of funny. Man, that looks cool. So this is their Tacoma camper and their first composite build, which again, they did the 45 degree sides on. So after they did this, they made a lot of changes to mine. This is currently sold, um, but yeah, really cool camper there. Coda girl, what you doing? Hi, Bubba's. I gotta love this Tacoma camper. Let's see if it's open. Oh, it is open, cool. Got the red arc system there. Step 22 stingrays. Nice, dude. Yeah, this Tacoma camper is legit. Oh, that's cool how when the top's down, you got a lot of room above the bed, so plenty of room to keep uh, bedding and stuff like that. Yeah, this thing's neat. This thing's pretty neat. And again, the turnover and wild ones door is so awesome. Really thick mesh on the screen there. Um, and then what, I forget how to even use the door, so I'm not gonna mess with it, but super solid door. Arctic turn, the wild ones door. 
love this thing. Also like the brackets that they made here. This kind of adds some look and strength to the whole cab over. So that's one reason I didn't go with the cab over is the the truck bouncing down trails and stuff like that, having the longer, you know, more weight over the front. Like that's why they added these braces was they probably didn't need these braces, but they build everything super strong here. So but yeah, having that cab over kind of bouncing would fatigue the camper more. And having a non-cab over box is super solid. So we obviously want to keep the camper as light as possible. Having it be a non-cab over means it can be shorter as well because you don't have to have that full height of going over the cab. So that's another benefit, keeping the center of gravity low. Um, and on that note, as far as center of gravity, I've put my water tank, my two Dakota lithiums, the entire Red Arc system, um, pretty much essentially all of my electronics, my fridge. We're keeping all of that where the back seats of the Gladiator used to be to be as far forward and low as possible in the vehicle. Building RC cars for so many years and having weight distribution being so important, that was a hyper focus of mine in the build and also allowed me to get pretty much all of these systems up and running or at least planned out where they were gonna be before the campers installed. So that's allowed us to put the camper shell on, wire everything up and have systems and everything working here within a week. But it's not all serious at the shop. We have plenty of fun and games and a friend of mine from high school actually, we've been messing with people since high school with this little foam rock kind of thing. So we had to chuck it at some guys in the shop and try to freak them out. A meteor, yeah, I think it's a meteor because it's super heavy. Here, check it out. Push a button? Oh, you yeah. pull it, the radius gear. Here, check it out. Ah! Yeah, I'm not falling. It's not. I, I got you a little bit though. I got a was, little bit. It was. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I know. It was too much of a build up. Too fishy. So you got to help us do it with Cody though, okay. and we'll fool him. Yeah. But yeah, Julie's got all the snacks in the radius gear Cody there. Put his in there. He did. Oh, a nice guy. Oh, you got funions. That's what I was wanting mm -hmm. to get. <laughs> Can I have a funion? Yeah, anything oh, you want in here. The way that you have to do it, baby, we have to plan this out, all right? So it, when I say, hey, you should show him our meteorite, uh -huh. you just go to it, and I'm going to sneak around And you're going to get the shot. I'm going to sneak around behind him so he doesn't know I'm recording. Okay. You got to be careful, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got closer. I was like, dang it. I was like, I think you're going to Dang it! Oh, <laughs> Oh, uh, so close. We will fool someone legitimately, and we need a. Oh, that's what we need. We need noise. That's gonna be the goal. Yeah, that's how you got me, and you didn't film me when you did it to me first. I I'm know. Like, oh. Yeah, I know. So we'll try to wait, get. Wait, wait. We'll, more. we'll reenact it. You ready? Here, here, reenact it. Yeah, you Go need ahead. to. What if you like? What if you have it on the ground? And then, because I feel like you can be a little more dramatic, like. No, you, yeah. All right, hang on just a second. Do yeah. It to me. <laughs> All right. Check that out. Oh, 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 first time reaction. <laughs> Go do it and see. Yeah. You know. Did Phil show you this really cool rock we got? Oh, nice. You got him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, thanks for watching this episode. I hope you got a little bit more insight into how we've kept my Jeep Gladiator Bison Truck Camper super light and also super strong. So the next couple videos will be the final walkthrough, at least with the camper on. We've still got the interior to do, uh, rear bumper, storage boxes, some things to work out as far as getting it fully dialed in and being fully moved in and on the road again. Stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. The only question really is, are you down to mob?